What's up everyone, it's Blandon here from iRefi Mortgages. Today I want to show you three tricks you can use to maximize your borrowing capacity. Now again, if you haven't seen the first video and the second video on borrowing capacity that is on my YouTube channel, I suggest that you check those out first. Um, if you have seen those, this is going to make a lot more sense. So the major problem that people run into, again, when investors are trying to borrow more money is that they run out of cash flow or they don't have enough capital. These three tips here are going to maximize your borrowing capacity if you do them every two to three years. The first one is to do with rebalancing your portfolio. So what is rebalancing? Um, if you had several properties over the years, like let's say you've had three properties and over time they've going to go up in value. So if you uh, bought them quite early on, you probably maximize all of the LVR on these ones. And over time, because the value has gone up, you can actually shift some of the debt onto these ones so that you can completely freehold this and you can discharge this at your bank. Now this only works if you're in a strong position in cash flow and it's something that you should do when you're in a good position opposed to um, like let's say you're needing the cash and you're wanting to sell that property very good chance that the bank is going to force you to repay that and that's something that happened to one of our clients um, an accountant over the years has, has, has he's done really well in business and um, he's got several properties now he wanted to sell one of his property for a million dollars because he wanted the cash in hand he needed it for his family but what he didn't realize was when he sold that property uh, the bank actually required him to pay back the whole lot and that's exactly what happened he sort of got trapped in that position so rebalancing is something that you should be doing uh, while you're in a good position second thing that you should consider is restructuring so restructure is to do with things like interest only terms and uh, minimizing your cash flow so so one of the problems that people have is that when the interest only term comes up they decide to go out and hunt for another interest only term but a lot of the time because their position have changed is actually a lot harder to get that interest only term extended so the best thing for a client to do is not wait till their interest only term expires in five years time is seek out a lot earlier be proactive two three years down the track you should be looking at restructuring and finding a new interest only term that you can negotiate so the very last one is refinance so why would you consider refinancing now the unfair advantage that you have as an investor is that legal fees and break fees these are tax deductible expense um, according to my accountant at least break fee is often just the break even point for the bank and a little bit more admin fee involved so what that basically means if you're stuck on a 4.8 percent and if you can refinance to 4.3 um, you should almost always do it if you're an investor because the break fee is the difference that the bank is going to lose out on but the advantage for you is that you get one third of that back and the legal fee you get one third of it back plus you get a cash back from the new bank so refinancing is a massive plus for investors so this is something that you should be considering if you're an investor and you can find a new interest rate to lock it in for another two three years that's going to be slightly lower than what you currently have or even if it's the same rate and it's better to do it early rather than later so again these tricks here are very very simple I would suggest that you do them uh, every two, three years when you're reviewing your mortgage with your mortgage advisor. If you're unsure whether or not you can do one of these three things, I would suggest that you book a review with one of our senior advisors, Brandon or myself, or you can talk to Andrew, can sort of direct you on which advisor can help you out. And if you enjoy this video, I encourage that you go to mortgagesecrets.co.nz if you subscribe to that, it's 10 days of emails and videos of mortgage tricks, tips and strategies of some of the super investors that we have worked with and we've put together very valuable content that is 
jam-packed over the course of 10 days. If you want to find out how much you can borrow, I encourage you to go down to the link below and download a borrowing capacity calculator. This is the perfect borrowing capacity calculator if you're an investor. You can find out exactly how much more you can borrow um, from the main bank or Bank of China to buy another investment property. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it. If you leave a comment below or even if you want to email me, blandon at irefi.co.nz uh, to give me feedback on how I can do better, I would really appreciate it. Until next time, we'll talk again. Cheers.